embodiments of love and light. A loving Sairam to all of you. And welcome to another edition of Launchbox Sai Center's online satsang. As we prepare ourselves for devotion today, let us truly try to make the best use of this opportunity. Let us live in this moment, fully engage ourselves in this moment. Let us keep our minds focused on God in whichever form is dearest to you. As the bhajans are being sung, let us sing along with them and let us clap our hands. With such unity of thought, word and deed, we will indeed have maximum spiritual benefit during this hour of devotion. Let us also set our intention for this hour of devotion. I intend to reconnect to the God that I am. I intend to realize that I am God and that everyone and everything is God. As we repeat these intentions mentally, let us feel what it would feel like to realize that you are God. A feeling of oneness with all of creation. A feeling of complete love for all of creation. A feeling of ultimate bliss and total serenity. Let us hold that feeling within as we now begin our devotion with our opening prayer.
Krishna Buddha Jesus Allah all came to this land.
everybody, I will now introduce the Bible class in Siram. I will be reciting chapter 12 of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, verse 15 and 16. 15. He for whom no one is put into difficulty and who is not disturbed by anxiety, who is steady in happiness and distress, is very dear to me. 16. A devotee who is not dependent on the ordinary course of activities, who is pure, expert, without cares, free from all pains, and who does not strive for some result, is very dear to me. Sairam. Mukti, the Lion Cup. This is Maya's flock. Maya is the matriarch, the loving and caring head sheep. All the sheep in the flock were happy with her rule. They felt safe in her presence. However, there was something strange in Maya's flock, her own little lamb, Mukti. Mukti was not Maya's own child. She had found him weak and helpless at the forest's edge. Her maternal instincts had taken over and she had taken him into her flock. She fed him milk and tended on him like her own lamb. Mukti had gained the strength suckling at Maya's possum and soon had become an indispensable part of the flock. But as time passed, Mukti seemed to have developed a strange illness. He refused to eat anything other than his foster mother's milk. But how long could Maya breastfeed him? All the other lambs of the flock had started to chew on tender grass, but not Mukti. Oh, poor Mukti! He is definitely not going to be a good wool-yielding sheep. Hey, hey, Mukti does not seem to be growing good horns. Yee, he's so ugly. He probably needs a special diet of mountain grass because the grass of the plains does not seem to suit him. I'm afraid that he may never even bleat like a normal sheep. But soon, Maya too had to give up on Mukti. She had no milk to feed Mukti. Accustomed to his daily nourishment, Mukti had no idea what to do. He tried his best to chew upon the grass, but he just could not. Mukti just spat out the grass. I'm sorry Mukti, I can't help you anymore. But mom, why am I suffering thus? I don't know Mukti. How can you not know? You gave birth to me, right? Wasn't I a normal baby? Child, I'm not actually your mother. You did not come from me. I found you at the edge of the forest. My heart melted for you, and so I nursed you all this while. Mukti, my baby, where are you going? Come back to me, sweetheart. A lion had found him fallen at the forest's edge and brought him to the den. Mukti wished his mother Maya was with him now. <laughs> Come on, little one. You look so weak and tired. Shall I get you some food?
The doctor says that I need to eat only a special mountain grass. Mountain grass? <laughs> Who told you what utter rubbish? No, really, I cannot eat grass. Of course, you cannot eat grass, little one. Lions don't eat grass. But sheep do, and they start eating grass as lambs. Oh ho, come on, you are no sheep, you, you, um, okay, what's your name? Mukti. Mukti, you are no sheep, you are a lion cub. Well, who told you that you are a sheep? My mother. Your mother? Really? When did she tell that? Um, actually it was not my mother. It was Maya. She took care of me when I was weak. Oh ho! You were with Maya, is it? That is why you thought you were a sheep. Mukti, my dear, realize that Maya seems to be a good caretaker. But she can never foster you because you are not a sheep. You are a lion, just like me. Come. Come with me, I will show you. Look within me. See, you are just a reflection of myself. You are a lion. Now, come on, roar. I cannot. I never have. Again, <laughs> that is Maya's training, Mukti. I am a lion and a roar. You are also a lion, but you cannot roar because you don't know that you are a lion. That is the only difference between us. Now, come on, trust me, have faith in me what I say and roar. The moral of the story is, why did Mukti think that he was just a weak little lamb? It is because that he didn't know that he was actually a lion's cub. So too in life, we think because we are weak and entertained fair, we don't realize that in reality, we are the children of God. If we were to always remember this truth, we will fearlessly and confidently march along the path of life, roaring like a lion. Sarah. Let us sit up straight for Jyoti meditation. Hands relaxed in the lap, with right palm on top of left palm, and thumbs lightly touching. Take a deep breath and breathe slowly and evenly. Now, close your eyes and visualize the flame of a lighted candle in front of you and see how beautiful it is with its warm golden color. Bring the flame nearer and nearer to you and feel it enter you through the center of your forehead between your eyebrows. Let the flame descend to your heart and imagine your heart as a beautiful lotus flower, pure and white. As the flame enters the heart, imagine the petals of the lotus open out one by one, bathing every single thought, feeling and emotion in the light and so removing darkness from them. Your heart is now filled with light, with love and peace. Then think, I am full of love and I am pure. Imagine the light in your heart growing wider, bigger, brighter, and radiating its rays down your arms all the way to your hands, filling both hands with light. 
Your hands are now filled with light and have become the instruments of light and love. Then think, let me do good things and serve all. Now, visualize the light in your heart spreading down the body, slowly along the legs to the feet, and filling both feet with light. Your feet are now filled with light. And think, let me walk only to good places where there is love and peace. And let me meet only with good people. Let the light spread from the heart up to your throat and surround the tongue and the mouth with light. Your mouth and tongue are now filled with light. Now think. Let me speak softly and always tell the truth and say only what is necessary and useful. Slowly, the light extends upward to the ears and fills both ears with light. Now think. Let me hear only good things. Now, extend the light and let it spread to the eyes, filling both eyes with light. Again, concentrate on the light and think. Let me see good in all things. Now, visualize the light entering your forehead and filling the head with light, purifying the mind. Your head is now filled with light. Now think, wherever there is light, darkness cannot be present, and I will only have good thoughts. Imagine the light in you glowing more and more intensely. Let the light shine all around you, now, visualize the divine form of Sri Satya Sai Baba and offer this light at his lotus feet. Now, extend this light and surround your loved ones, other members of your family, friends, and especially those who are unkind to you or who you perceive to be unkind to you. May they all be filled with light, with love, filled with peace. Let the light expand to the entire world so that all mankind, animals, and plants, and all living beings are filled with light. Let the whole universe be filled with light. Now. Imagine that there is only light and that you are the source of this light. The light is within you. You are one with the light. Anintigini manaku pradhanamaina tvantidi sevane of all most important thing is service it is even one of marchi rabo ye 20 oka bhavishyathu gurinchi vicharistu garchi poyina twadi dani gurinchi vagastu kalanni vyartham chestunnam we have forgotten our bounden duty of rendering service in the community we go on worrying of the future and brood over the past kanuka prema sarupulara embodiments of love మనము నిరంతరం కూడాను సేవల కంటే మించినటువంటిది తా సాధన మనకుట లేదు we have to recognize there's no other spiritual practice which is more than that of service sevanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam pada sevanam vandanam archanam dasyam aatmanivedanam idi ani manam bhavinchukoni itti sevalano manam munigi pothunnam we spend our time thinking of the nine paths of devotion like singing listening worship salutation surrender and so on kanuka 
మనకు నిత్య సత్యమైనటువంటిది సేవ యొక్క ఫలితమే ప్రధానమైనటువంటిది ద కన్సిక్వెన్స్ అండ్ ద రిజల్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఇటర్నల్ సర్వీస్ ఇస్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు బి కెప్ట్ ఇన్ వ్యూ ఆది పురుషులు ఇట్టి సేవల చేతనే ధన్యులైపోయారు ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ ద కాజ్ ఫర్ అవర్ లిబరేషన్ అండ్ రిడెంప్షన్ రైట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద బిగినింగ్ మనం నిరంతరం కొను పరలోక సేవ చేస్తు రావాలి we have to offer incessant services to everybody and nimittame ee kayamu bhagavantu anukrahinchadu for that purpose this body is gifted ee dehamu kevalu tini tragi kalamu vyaktam chese nimittame kaadu the body is gifted not to merely spend time in food raiment shelter drinking and eating alone kanuka ee dehamu parluku sahajeevulaku sadhana chese nimittame andinchinadani satyanni gurtinchu we have to recognize the basic fact that god has given us this body to serve the neighborhood everybody in society kanukane prati manamulu kudunu sevalo palgonali hence everyone must participate in service seva kante minchinatti paitha marakuti ledu there is no other thing that is greater than service mahapurushulu andare kudunu seva dwara ne dhanyulu avuthu vacharu all noble souls had their lives realized redeemed liberated through service only kanuka sevallo meeru prayatnam cheyandi therefore participate in all in service activity bhajana sadhanal kante kunanu ee seva le chaala pradhana mail pettindi of all kinds of spiritual practices the service is noblest and the highest prema sarupulara embodiments of love seva ante em anukuntunnaru meeru what is that you think about service edo parulaku కష్టాల సమయం లోపల తోడ్పడటము వారికి సహాయం చేయటము వారి సేవల్లో పాల్గొనటము ఇది ఏ సేవలుగా భావిస్తున్నారు యు కన్సిడర్ దట్ ద సర్వీస్ మెన్ టు బి ఆఫ్ సమ్ సపోర్ట్ టు ద పూర్ అండ్ ద నీడ్ ఎట్ ద టైం ఆఫ్ అవర్ కాదు కాదు నో మన దేహము నిరంతరం కూడాను సేవలు ఎందే దీన్ని అంకితం గావించాలి ద బాడీ మస్ట్ బి డెడికేటెడ్ టు సర్వీస్ బాడీ లోపల అనేక అంగములు ఉంటున్నాయి the body has got various limbs ee angamulu anni kudunu sevana nimittame andinchinave kaani maroka karma nimittame kaadu all the limbs of a body are meant to serve only ee sevalu manam marchipothunnam we have forgotten the spirit of service dehamulo unnatundi prathi angam kudanu karma paasana nimittame andinchinatundi every limb has to be involved spent in the field of action కర్మోపాసన మానవులకు ముఖ్యమైనటువంటి ధన్యత గాయించినటువంటి ఇట్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ ద ఫీల్డ్ ఆఫ్ యాక్షన్ కర్మోపాసన దట్ వుడ్ రిడీమ్ అవర్ లైవ్స్ మనము ఎన్నియో మంత్రములు కడుతున్నాము ఎన్నియో సాధనలు చేస్తున్నాము కానీ అవన్నీ తాత్కాలిక తృప్తి నిమిత్తమే చేస్తున్నామే కానీ శాశ్వతమైనటువంటి ఆనందం అందించము వీ బిల్డ్ సో మెనీ టెంపుల్స్ ద ప్లేసెస్ ద వర్షిప్ అండ్ వీ అండర్టేక్ సో మెనీ పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ స్పిరిచువల్ డిసిప్లిన్ but they confer only temporary joy and happiness prachina maharshulu prayatna purvakanga sadhanalu cheskoni ee dehanni sadhinchinaru the ancient rishis the seers of wisdom have undertaken spiritual practice in all seriousness and were liberated kanuka sevana kante minchinatvadi marokati ledani meenu nitya satyanni vishwasinchali you should have full faith in this eternal truth that nothing is more than that of service ఎవరైనా బాధపడుతున్నటువంటి వారికి మనం సహాయం చేయాలి ఇఫ్ యు ఫైండ్ ఎనీ వన్ సఫరింగ్ బి ఆఫ్ సమ్ హెల్ప్ టు దెమ్ కేవలము ఆరోగ్యం నిమిత్తమే కాదు అన్నింటిని ఎందుకుడను మనం సహాయం చేయాలి ద సఫరింగ్ నీడ్ నాట్ నెసెసరీలీ బీన్ ఆన్ హెల్త్ గ్రౌండ్స్ అలోన్ మన సర్వీస్ మన ప్రాచీన సంస్కృతి పల్లెలనే ఉంటున్నది కానీ పట్టణంలో లేదు ద ఏన్షియన్ కల్చర్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ విలేजेस అండ్ నాట్ ఇన్ సిటీస్ సిటీస్ లోపల ఆ కల్చర్ ను అన్ని విధాలా పాడు చేస్తుండాలి ఇట్ ఈస్ ద సిటీ దట్ టోటలీ స్పాయిల్స్ ది ఏన్షియన్ కల్చర్ కనుక మనం పల్లెలకు వెళ్ళి వారి కష్టములు దుఃఖములు విచారములు విచారించి వాటిని నివారణ గావించుకునే నిమిత్తమై కొన్ని సేవలు చేయాలి దేర్ ఫోర్ వి హావ్ టు విజిట్ ద రూరల్ ఏరియాస్ ద విలేजेस ఫైండ్ అవుట్ देयर ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ అండ్ ట్రై టు అలివియేట్ ద సఫరింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద నేటివ్స్ టౌన్ లో పోతే కేవలము మనకు సుఖమును ఆనందమును సౌఖ్యాన్ని ఆశించి వెళుతున్నాం ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ వి మూవ్ ఆన్ టు ద టౌన్స్ ఇన్ ద సిటీస్ ఎక్స్పెక్టింగ్ ది కంఫర్ట్స్ అండ్ కన్వీనియన్సెస్ అండ్ లగ్జరీస్ ఈ విధమైనటువంటి యొక్క 
సుఖములు నిమిత్తమై కోరి మానవుడు తన దుఃఖాన్ని కట్టెచ్చి పెట్టుకుంటున్నాడు బై రన్నింగ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దీస్ కంఫర్ట్స్ అండ్ లగ్జరీస్ మ్యాన్ ఇస్ యాక్చువల్లీ రన్నింగ్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద సఫరింగ్ దేర్ బాయ్ నసుఖ లభ్యతే సుఖం సుఖం నుంచి మనకు సుఖం రాదు దుఃఖం నుంచి దుఃఖం నుంచి ఏ మనకు సుఖం సుఖం లభిస్తుంది యు కెన్ నెవర్ గెట్ హ్యాపీనెస్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హ్యాపీనెస్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఓన్లీ ద సఫరింగ్ దట్ గెట్ ఫ్రాక్టిఫైడ్ అల్టిమేట్లీ ఇన్ కన్ఫరింగ్ హ్యాపీనెస్ అందు నిమిత్తమై ప్రాచీన మహర్షులు అందరూ కూడాను ఊరు గ్రామాలను వదిలిపెట్టి అరణ్యానికి చేరి ఏకాంతమైన సేవ లోపల దైవాన్ని ఆరాధన చేస్తూ వచ్చారు దట్స్ ద రీజన్ వై ది ఏన్షియన్ ఋషిస్ ఆర్ ఫార్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మ్యాడింగ్ క్రౌడ్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ ద సిటీస్ అండ్ టౌన్స్ స్పెండ్ దర్ లైఫ్ టైమ్ ఇన్ ఫారెస్ట్ కనుక సేవలు చేయండి సో సార్ మన యొక్క చేతులు సేవల నిమిత్తమై వచ్చినది ఎవరికైనా అబ్బా అతను నాకు ఈ మంచి తనం చేశాడు అనే పేరుని తెచ్చుకుంటే అంతకంటే గొప్పతనం లేదు there is nothing other than rendering service to a person who is in need of your service that gives you good name and fame kanaku manamu good work cheyali gaani manamu sahayamaina pundi yokka shanti jeevithanni garapali we should do good work and lead a peaceful life ee naadu bhajan cheyataniki vachinatundi pillalu sevadalam varu those that have participated in bhajans they belong to sevadal the service wing bhagavantaku sevalu endi aanandam kaani poojalu endu kaani chaagamulu endu kaani aanandam led in fact god is very happy watching your services and not other forms of worship kanaka service man cheyandi so we should sir the best way to love god is to love all serve all the best way to god is to love all and serve all ee renditini manam chakkaga gurtinchukoni vartinchide entukante goppa సాధన మరొకటి లేదు ఇఫ్ యు రికగ్నైజ్ దిస్ ట్విన్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ దేర్ ఇస్ నో అదర్ గ్రేటర్ స్పిరిచువల్ పాత్ to the end of another beautiful online satsang. I thank you for joining with us as we help each other along our spiritual journeys back to Godhead. Until we meet again, I encourage you all to live in love. Make decisions based on love and allow your divine light shine and inspire all those around you. Sai Ram.